hi, this is Danielle Zana. I'm just giving you a blog update. Um, first off, because um, I basically have been suspended uh, or removed from um, extraterrestrial.me. So I'll just let people know the support group for hybrids there is basically um, trashed. Um, it's basically trashed. Uh, I I just don't know what actually happened. I don't know what I did wrong. I basically, um, I just basically got up this morning from my sleep and then woke up and then discovered that I had been removed from the website for no apparent reason. There was no private messages, nothing um, of the sort from admin like saying like, you know, what's up, what's this all about, you know. Um, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, so, I don't know. I honestly don't know what the, what the hell's going on. Um, um, I think I think I presume it's because of this the, the my special flood that um, he comes around assuming me this assuming me that and trying to psychoanalyze me psycho profile me um, um, as if he you know knows me from the back end of a bus and um, I've had this before with him on um, Cosmic View. US. Um, the, where um, he actually managed to get me banned from that website when the website owner had been away on holiday. And uh, it seems that he used the same tactics, and I'm starting to feel that probably maybe it's the same person that's involved with my Facebook issues, it's involved with my what happened on Divi night? I don't know. I'm 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 just trying to make sense of all this because it makes no sense at all. It makes no sense at all whatsoever. And um, I'm just rather upset. I, I, I feel drained. I feel. I just feel like you know, like every time somebody that rejects me, I just feel. I just don't know why people do this, and he goes around with this whole victim um, philosophy thing, which I don't agree with because he doesn't know what it's like being born into sex. He doesn't know what it's like that they have been forced in one gender. He doesn't know what it's like being brought up with the religious extremist parents. He doesn't know fuck all about me. He knows nothing, and he kind of profiling me and making me this and I just came up with the points about what actually happened with, with me and him in the past basically simply trying to keep it as short and sweet as possible and move on um, but he kept on um, pushing me and, um, and I just I, I just I am so I don't know, I just feel I always a message, don't but a warning or notice to people of Earth. Hello, I have a few things to say. Well, I've first off, I do apologize with my slow progression in my artwork of late. This is because of the problems people have thrown on me with not understanding me the artist, and the work which is my art that I create. Four of my Facebook accounts have been disabled, leaving me isolated from most of my friends, family and fans. The problem is the NSA's IETC shit people have been using me as an experiment for their measures, they succeeded in banning from DeviantArt, and now they trying with Facebook or whatever. I can only see and observe this stupid and silly act of this nonsense imposed onto me and see it just the religio, political ideology that gets shoved down my throat and up my ass like some hentai tentacle rape cull who monster feeding off my creative life essence, slowing me down and trying to put me into a box of borders and boundaries of what to draw and what not to draw. I had this shit with my earth parents trying to bring me up, why the fuck do you do this? Can't you see I do not comply or agree with your religio-political ideology, 
because it is not the truth, and it has no logic, reason and consciousness. Hello, do you even understand me and respect my values? How do you expect me to respect yours when you don't respect mine and shove yours down my throat and punish me if I don't comply like some testicle brained Billy? Since 11 years ago from Ananania giving me the inspiration to work on my art, society had always objected with the battle hammer, as if the task of making me struggle with torment had been passed on from my earth parents to society as a whole particularly so called authority to try and lower my IQ and consciousness with fear and punishment to a level they feel they can manipulate and control. Fortunately my extraterrestrial experiences and my basic knowledge in star cultures has prevented me from falling into their pitiful mind games of following stupid rules, which do not make any sense at all, and are only imposed on society to herd people like cattle. Yes there is disclosure happening in regards to extraterrestrials, and what they do not wish to disclose as mentioned in public hearings is the arts and culture of extraterrestrials and the importance of sensuality, love and empathy as the elite know about it and wish to only disclose about the fact of life on other planets, to manipulate this fact to the perspective for the last card agenda, or to market and make money around this fact throwing in misinformation to mislead ignorant people away from the truth of the subject, this is what it's all about when they mention that people are not ready for some of this information within their speeches at the disclosure hearing. This sort of attitude and withholding information from people is not helping, especially if you wish the human beings of planet Earth to survive and integrate with the galactic family and community. Why push the last card anti-AT agenda? What do you gain from confusing people and generating so much hate and xenophobia to the point that Earth would remain quarantined and the people of the Earth who are ignorant from the truth and high consciousness of extraterrestrials get annihilated by your own stupid ideas of fakery and lust of power and control? trying to conquer Earth in the galaxy next laughable and sad, I have empathy for you, but I don't know why you choosing to be stupid and dumb and behave like lemmings, I have tried to say something, notify people on this planet that if they continue on what they are doing, they would self-terminate themselves including all life on this planet, it seems to be that having a conversation with a brick wall is more successful, the reasons being ignored is one, I do not have a big name out there. Thus it is the excuse of not being creditable despite the fact of being an extraterrestrial hybrid, too, I am part of the masses, and not seen as an individual, thus making me non-important, this does not apply to me only, many people don't have a voice because of this perception created by the religio-political elite authority, where this perception had been branded onto me because I was not born in an elite family. The truth is there is only 28 years left for life to continue on this planet if there is no change. I have mentioned about Fukushima, nuclear power, renewable energy, UFO technology, zero point, self-charging electric cars and so on. None of these ideas get to the people with the resources, and I end up smashing my brains against the wall of my flat in frustration and agony when hearing the stupendous decisions made in Parliament around their unintelligent decisions with the energy crisis, their decisions of austerity and cutbacks for funding more wars and planet rape, and their priority of economy and finance given more importance over people's lives and life on planet Earth as a whole, like the famous five-minute speech by Seven Suzuki when she was nine, had been ignored and was a warning at the time of 1992. What changes have been made when she addressed the UN? I myself have observed no change whatsoever. There seems to be excuses to hide and cover up the damages made by pollution, that is affecting life on this planet, the decline in biodiversity, the climate change and more. You elite feel you have won and wish for an Armageddon the war rod wars, the last card fake alien invasion using the anti at agenda to implement a 1984 new world order. The truth is, there is no future at all even if you have the plans to implement your old world order. You elite need to wake up to this fact and stop being the selfish cunts you are, and realize that Earth is not to be subdivided in countries and owned, that it is the home of all people, not only the people with money in their pockets. You go on at me trying to destroy, hide and censor my art as if you have won a battle or game with me, which I never played or participated in. The truth is you have lost already and you have killed up to 7.2 billion people including yourselves in the not-too-distant future because of your stupidity and arrogance. 
why go on about making my life a misery and pain when you would be dead within the next 29 years, I do not understand this stupidity, and I do not see any logical sense in your senselessness, there is only a future if this stupidity and mess stops right now, this is a notice, a warning, not a message, I do hope you take this seriously, and please think on your actions, your decisions, and stop running on automatic, thank you. What is the point of trying to say something when it is going to be ignored, me and my art continued to be bashed, and the planet raid continued, what is the fucking point, you have lost your stupid game, so quite pushing me to play it, 